Hi, today I have genetics problem for you and I'm going to solve this problem using fork in line method and if you feel that uh, you can solve problem using this method then you can stop video here, read the problem and uh, find the answer and then you can run video again and compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is the problem. In peace, axillary flowers, capital A, is dominant to terminal flowers, small a, and colored flowers, capital R, is dominant to white, that is small r. A true breeding plant with white terminal flowers is crossed with true breeding plant having colored axillary flowers. The F1 plants are then allowed to self-pollinate. Using the forked line method, list all the possible F2 uh, phenotypes and calculate uh, probability of each. So here is my explanation. Once again, if you feel that you can solve this problem, I encourage you to stop video here, try to solve this problem, and then you can uh, run video and compare your answer with my uh, answer and explanation. So, uh, as you see, uh, here we have a true breeding plant for one parent with white terminal flowers and white color is recessive and terminal flowers also recessive to dominant that is going to be uh, axillary and true breeding means that this is homozygous so we have a genotype of the first parent that is going to be uh, small a small a and small r small r and we have to cross with parent 2 that is going to be also true breeding meaning homozygous and uh, having colored and axillary flowers so this is this genotype going to be capital a capital a and capital r capital r and uh, when we cross these two genotypes uh, it's easy to predict f1 generation uh, whose uh, genotype going to be capital A small a and capital R small r. So far it is easy. Now we have to self-pollinate so we have to cross it with uh, the same genotype that is uh, capital A small a and capital R small r and now we have to find what is the probabilities of the different genotypes of the F2 generation using the forked line method but before that I will show you uh, the probabilities using Punnett square so uh, when we cross uh, this plant uh, when we self pollinate it uh, we have to put uh, capital A capital A that is going to be allele for uh, one plant and the same would be for the second when we self-pollinate and the frequencies of the genotype is going to be capital A capital A capital A small a capital A small a and small a small a here so as you see uh, this four genotypes would give us two phenotypes and this uh, plant going to be um, axillary three quarters and uh, one quarter here would be a terminal so one quarter would plant uh, with terminal flowers and uh, when we cross these alleles capital R small r with capital R small r genotype this is the same what we have here this uh, alleles also both heterozygous so the outcome would be also the same so three quarters would be uh, colored plants and one quarter would be white plants. So 
we have all the initial information to solve this problem using uh, fork it line method. So we start with a fork here, and as you see, we have uh, three quarters of the colored plants and one quarter of the white. And once again, we make forks here and we put here three quarters for the axillary position of the flowers and one quarter would be terminal and three quarters here would be axillary and one quarter terminal so as you see we have uh, all possible genotypes and now we can calculate uh, all the possible phenotypes in order to do this we just have to multiply this number by each this number and this number by each this number so here we would have uh, three quarters multiplied by uh, three quarters answer would be 9 over 16 and this is going to be a uh, plant with uh, colored and axillary so uh, flowers so this is going to be colored and axillary flowers and here we would have multiply three quarters by one quarter and the answer here would be 3 over 16 and the phenotype would be uh, colored and tel terminal and terminal and here we have to multiply one quarter by three quarters and answer here would be 3 over 16 and phenotype would be white and axillary and here we have to multiply one quarter by one quarter and the answer would be 1 over 16 that is going to be white and terminal so this is going to be our answer this is going to be all the possible phenotypes and their frequencies and if we add all these numbers here 9 plus 3 12 plus 3 uh, 15 plus 1 16 so 16 over 16 is 1 so we solve uh, all these uh, phenotypes and genotypes correctly and uh, this is would be our answer for our question so this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please uh, suggest uh, other videos that you might be interested in that's all for today goodbye